Some 52 years after the current Nurses and Midwives Act was passed, there's another attempt to upgrade the local nursing profession. Leading debate Wednesday on a modernized version of the law, Health and Wellness Minister, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darbell, acknowledged that the shocking events of both 2019 and 2020 have highlighted the reality of the role, skills, and capacities of nurses and midwives, particularly during times of emergency or disaster. The primary focus of this bill is to bring a higher level of focus to the way that nursing is practiced in our country. It speaks specifically to the various categories of nursing and the need for continuous training, regulation, preservation, and standard of professionalism. Madam Speaker, this bill gives interpretation in terms such as licensed practical nurse, Nurse intern, the new category of nurses known as advanced practice nurse, nurse practitioners, and other terms that are necessary in order to reference the role of the nurse in our modern society. Darvel making it clear, though, that repealing and replacing the existing law does not mean totally discarding what was in place or practiced, at least not without proper assessment and evaluation of its merit and effectiveness. Take, for instance, the Nursing Council, a body that controls the training and practice, registry, and enrollment of nurses. In this Nurses and Midwives Bill 2022, this entirety remains and the continuance of its function and duties of the registrar are vital to the nursing profession. The council is now changed to 11 member council appointed uh, in consultation with the minister and they develop codes of conduct of nursing personnel, set standards and monitoring systems in relating, relation to qualification, education, training, the practice of nursing and midwifery, and establish and carry out the council policies. The exercise of this function by the council gives us assurance that once a nurse is licensed in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, we know that they have gone through a rigorous training program and are qualified to meet our high expectation and the care delivery that is essential for our loved ones. Of passing the bill is the opposition whose leader Michael Pintar touted the legislative and policy move to improve the standard of nurses. Nearly 1,700 of them, along with the 200 midwives across the public and private health care sector. Pintar reasoned, though, that while the bill could be passed, if the health care infrastructure is not improved, it would only serve as, as a small step in the right direction. So as we celebrate this, we have to be sober about what we have left undone and dedicate ourselves to having a sense of urgency in moving this process forward. It is amazing that you would have facilities that have been even clinics, that you start under one administration and then another one comes in and because they have a new person to give a contract to, the, the monies, the scarce resources are located. <coughs> is left to languish because they on a new run to produce something else. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the persons who need health care are adversely affected. So, Mr. Bodhi, I uh, hear you have, you're doing a show. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, it's called Yes, sir. Why do you think is is the appropriate title for the show? Well, um, connotates that it is an authoritative expression on issues, and I do believe that, in my experience, I would have. So we deal with the issues that impact individuals and the nation. Well, I mean, why not? Well, I guess that's the end of that. That ends that, but uh, it don't end that like that because the public is invited to call in and participate in all of the shows that we're going to be doing going forward. And I'm excited. How about you? Austin H. Bully Jr. It's only way to go.